Hi book lovers! Today I wanted to show off four very different but all equally cool books from Usborne Books and More. What I love about these books is that even though they're all super different, they all are illustrated by Stephen Cartwright and they all feature the same family and cast of characters from Apple Tree Farm, the Boot family. All of these books are you can tell which ones are going to have these characters because they're all um, us born farmyard tales and they'll all say that at the top of the books us born farmyard tales i have four and i think there's um, at least four more um, throughout us born that have these characters so we're going to start out with one for the little guys this might be your child's first introduction to the boot family this is Usborne's Touchy Feely Farmyard Tales, Animal Hide and Seek. And in the catalog, this is actually described as a luxury touchy feely board book, and you will soon see why. There are just so many different textures and things to feel on every single page. This book also features flaps. And there's a counting element too. On this page, we start with one and then two, and then we move to two, three and three, four, on and on. Um, but I mean, just there's so much to feel on every single page. My daughter loves this book. She loves to work the flaps. She loves to touch all the things. So this is a very cool book and one of the first places that we meet, Sam and Poppy. So that is Animal Hide and Seek. Moving on, I wanted to show y'all the um, complete book of Farmyard Tales. So this book is both a combined volume and a dual reader. A combined volume just means that there are a lot of stories in here. So we've got a ton of stories. I think um, outside of this you could get the little book of train stories, which is also a dual reader, but I believe this contains all of those. So if you bought this one, you would not need that one. Um, the fact that it is um, a com I'm sorry, the fact that it is a combined volume, it also comes with a CD, which is fun. And I think this is really cute. It has a little map of Apple Tree Farm and the surrounding area here, which is super cute. Um, but what I think is really awesome is that this is a dual reader. Usborne has several dual readers, and what that means is that there are simple lines of text at the top of the page that make a cohesive story even without this more detailed and longer, more difficult text at the bottom of the page. So this works on a lot of levels. If you're reading to um, someone with a shorter attention span, maybe a toddler, you can read just the sentences at the top of the page and it's going to make sense and you're going to move through things a little bit faster. Now if you're reading with your beginning reader, then they can read the sentences at the top of the page and you can read the sentences at the bottom to kind of be doing it together, make it a little more interesting than some of the um, early readers that just have simple text. Of course, if your beginning reader is reading without you, they're reading in quiet time or whatnot, they can just read the sentences at the top and it's, again, it's going to make sense to them as a whole. They don't need these sentences at the bottom as well. And finally, of course, as your reader advances, they can read the entire thing, and these stories are so cute, and there are so many of them, that this is really um, a great treasure to have for your family. So, that is a dual reader and a combined volume, The Complete Book of Farmyard Tales. Moving on, this is a fun book. Um, it is for beginners who are learning tell how to tell the time. So there is a story within here, and there is a little yellow duck to spot on every page as well. Um, this The story goes along and kind of, I feel like it kind of uh, tricks your kids into learning how to tell the time. Of course, they think it's fun to set the hands on the clock, and there's also little cheats on every page and different ways that they see where the time is. But like this one, inside within the story, um, Poppy asks, what time is it now? And Mrs. Boot says, look at the clock. The little hand is pointing at eight says Mrs. Boot, and the big hand is pointing at 12, so it is 8 o'clock. So they're beginning to learn, just through the telling of the story, how to tell time. And you can see, I mean, time is featured, you know, in all different forms. But this is a beginner's book for telling the time. There is not going to be um, half hours and quarter hours. It's all going to be on the, on the hour. But again, we have our family, the Boot family from Apple Tree Farm teaching us how to tell the time. 
finally, I wanted to show you a really fun book. This is wind, the Wind Up Train book. Um, so these are our same characters again, and we have a little wind up train here that is going to drive on tracks. But there's a lot of story and text in this one too, as it's for a slightly older kid. So as you can see, we have our story, and then every other page we have a track. And my favorite is the track on the very back because of this little guy that you can, this little wheel that you can turn to change the track. So, so let you know where to start. We'll start him off here. When we have our wheel turned this way, he just kind of gets stuck going around and around. So we'll turn it and he'll continue on. So I think this is really special because all of these tracks are maps of in and around Apple Tree Farms so they can see the locations of what they've been reading about since maybe they were even a baby looking at the touchy-feely books. Um, other books offered for babies in this series are The Noisy Train, again it's going to be an Usborne Farmyard Tale, you'll see that at the top, and also Animal Noises. I think Noisy Train, um, the book has buttons you can push that make noises, but animal noises, um, you and your toddler will just be making noises together. And then, um, it, similar to this one, there's a wind-up tractor book, and it actually has some punch-outs of the characters from Apple Tree Farm that you can punch out and set up around the tracks and use over and over again. So that's really clever as well. So anyway, those are four very different books, but all awesome books that feature, um, the illustrations by Stephen Cartwright and our Apple Tree Farm characters. I hope you enjoyed these.